So a major difference in a world without the internet would be, I think, the world would be very boring. Think about it. If you commute to the office, you sit in a tram and you already check your emails, you check the news from last night, and you probably already have a call. And then in the office, you join a video conference call, and this video conference call is just happening because the internet is there, right? If you go a step further into uh, your leisure times, right? If you think about your smartwatch and your workouts and what kind of information is tracked there, it's all internet-based. And actually, in a sense, the smartphone, it's just smart because the internet is there. Take out the internet and you don't have a smartphone anymore, it's just a phone. And internet hubs bring together the different servers and cables and uh, they are interconnected globally. So the different internet hubs per country is connected with the other uh, internet hubs in the other countries to, uh, to build the globally connected internet. Technologies like connected cars and smart homes, they have the requirement of that the information is exchanged very quickly. And we call that latency, right? How much time it takes to send data from the sender to the destination. Um, and think about it, if, you, if you're driving on a highway with 65 miles per hour and you are approaching a traffic jam, you want to get the information about the traffic jam at your fingertip in milliseconds. So we see that our customers have more and more specific requirements for interconnection services. This is why we have started uh, products like cloud connectivity. Is that Wikix <laughs> moves. So much two cities. We have a problem. I think I broke the internet. No, 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 no. You can't break the internet. You can break a cable, as you did, yes. but you can't break the internet. And I explained to you why you can't break the internet. The internet was designed 45 years ago as part of a research project by the US military. And one of the design goals of this uh, endeavor was that the internet needs to survive a war. So even if parts of the internet are not functioning, the whole system still needs to work. And this is what we experience daily, because the internet is up and running 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Now, I want to show you how the internet is built. And for this, we are in a data center in Frankfurt, and I want to show you how an internet exchange run by DKIX looks like. And here we are, we are in the middle of one of the largest internet exchanges in the world.